I was diagnosed uh, in August 2004. This was in um, 2005 that I was diagnosed. Finding out that I had cancer was, um, was just a total shock and having never smoked and um, had no indication why this would happen. When I found out that I had cancer, I figured that this, this was it. I didn't know what EGFR meant. When I was diagnosed, they assumed that I probably had the EGFR mutation. Being the age that I was, a woman, a never smoker, I did not. They called me at you know, 9 o'clock at night to say, uh, great news, you've got the mutation, um, so we can put you on this new clinical trial. My oncologist mentioned to me uh, about the time that I was restaged that he would like permission to test my, my tumor again for another mutation. When they presented this, this clinical trial, um, there was, I had no hesitation um, to do it. When I found out that I had the ALK mutation, I was actually elated. I was absolutely elated because now it meant that there was something that they could point that medicine at, something that they could go after, something specific. And a little red pill, and uh, it's taken daily. The, the clinical trial drug was actually administered as a capsule. And after the, the therapies that I had had previously, be it surgery or the, the chemo, which was an infusion, um, it, it was really pretty easy. So I took the first pill on Thanksgiving Day, and we were at relatives for the day for Thanksgiving. Um, by Friday and Saturday, I started noticing the, the, the uh, symptoms had gone. Within days of starting the clinical trial, I began to feel better. I was getting scans every month initially, so I had to come back uh, you know, in late December. And the, the tumor was still there, but smaller. When he walked in the room, he was beaming ear to ear. He said, this is the best news I have given anybody in months. And he said, your, your results are simply amazing. By six months, uh, the doctor was saying, there's really, I, there's, I can't point to what I would definitively say is tumor. It was one thing to hear him say it was amazing. It was another thing when he put the scan up and actually showed us the images of my lungs. And to see the before and after was just, it was unbelievable. I can play golf, I can, I can take long walks. Um, I've, I've I've been better shaped than I, physically than I probably was uh, well before. I am so healthy. I, I feel so vibrant that I think that occasionally there are people who don't believe me when I tell them that I have lung cancer. It's possible to be stage four and, and still go years. And uh, I, I can't be uh, happier uh, to have been part of this. I want more time to spend with my husband, to spend with, spend with my kids, to spend with my family, to, to just be alive. So I've, I've tried to enjoy life and, and um, take advantage of each day. And the fact that I have been given the opportunity to have a voice, that my voice can continue, I hope that I can encourage people to have hope.